Hello, my name is Cristian Marginiano, and today I'll talk about Client Request Analysis Tool for CERNalist Grid Services. CERN is a European research organization in nuclear physics based in a suburb of Geneva, Switzerland. Many activities at CERN currently involve operating the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, and the four big experiments it contains. One of those experiments is ALICE, or a Large Ion Collider experiment. Since its first run, over 150 petabytes of data has been collected. The ALICE software development team is managing various computing resources contributed to the ALICE col uh, collaboration in order to provide a unitary view and hide different endpoints, protocols, and technologies used. Thus, ALIEN, or ALICE Environment, API services have been created. It's the main gateway for researchers to access and analyze the data collected. It was developed at the same time uh, with the initial experiment software. Since the 1st of January 2020, this service has on average 51,000 requests per minute. The Jalian or Java Alice environment service is a new framework that is gradually replacing Alien API services. It is developed with the same high level paradigm of abstraction while using modern protocols and technologies. Currently, Jalian is in active development. One of the identified shortcomings of these two services is that the Alice software development team does not have the ability to analyze the requests that are being handled by both Alien API services and Jalian service. There is, however, a distributed infrastructure that monitors vital hardware and OS-level metrics. A user request usually contains a Unix-like terminal command. This means that there was no easy way to identify the commands that took more time to execute than expected. For example, if a command such as list or print working directory took more than a couple hundreds of milliseconds to execute, then it might be a sign that there is a problem with the internal catalog that stores metadata of the distributed soft resources. Also, all this useful request information is stored only in log files without being analyzed further. This means that in order to debug a request, usually a search in those log files was required. Based on the shortcomings identified earlier, the main objectives of the analysis tool are categorize various types of requests by various metrics like frequency, duration, or size. This will help to build a realistic picture of real client-server interactions for both Alien API service and JDM. Also, highlight requests that have an execution duration bigger than expected, thus exposing information about other critical components of the distributed systems behind the API services. Direct the developer's attention to optimization opportunities like slower frequent queries or frequent error messages especially in Jalian's client-server implementation. Over the course of the implementation of the project, several choices needed to be made. One of them was finding the best way to parse the Alien API services log files. The first analyzed suggestion was to use a library specialized in parsing strings using regular expressions, or regex. But after a closer inspection, a few shortcomings were discovered. Every single type of command has a different pattern, and each type would need a separate regex expression defined. Considering also that the number of request types is big, this would be very difficult to implement. Also, processing files with millions of lines would be inefficient. The second suggestion was to use ANTLR4, a library specialized in generating parsers of deterministic context-free languages. This parser can efficiently process files that have hundreds of thousands of lines. Also, it supports single token deletion and single token insertion error handling in order to ignore an extra token or insert a null token in case no rule can be meshed against the input. There are use cases when the service contained a bug and did not block correctly a request in some circumstances. Also, the grammar behind the log lines is relatively simple to define and to maintain afterwards. Another part of tool that needed attention upon choosing was the analysis engine. There are two main candidates for this job, Apache Solar or Elasticsearch. Both solutions have many similarities, mainly because they are based on the same search engine software library called Apache Lucene. The project's choice is Elasticsearch because it has the following benefits. It is developed with big data analysis in mind and supports aggregation pipelines in order to analyze the data in a multi-step manner. 
Comparing to Apache Solar, it can automatically create an index without the schema of the documents that will be injected into the send index. It offers fast document text search. It is also easily deployable, offers Docker support, and is also easy to scale up or down in case such necessity arises. Also, there is no need to install additional components for an Elasticsearch cluster, whereas, for example, Apache Solar needed Apache Zookeeper for a fault tolerance capabilities. Also, a data visualization tool was necessary in order to expose the analyzed data to the Alice software development team. The three main candidates for this purpose were Kibana, Grafana, and Greylog. Our final choice was Kibana because of the following advantages. It offers uh, seamless uh, and automatic integration with the latest features and versions of Elasticsearch. This also means that a database major version upgrade cannot be held back by the data visualization tool, whereas, for example, Greylog does not currently support Elasticsearch 7. Also, every visualization uh, exposing Kibana's dashboard can have filters applied, such that, for example, a pie with the most active users applied to all request types can be filtered to a single request type, easily getting information about the most users that issue a particular type of request. There is also support for Elasticsearch's fast query DSL, meaning that if a developer would want to track down a specific request ID, there is support for this type of search, together with other queries based on other properties of processed documents. Last but not least, there is no need to set up additional infrastructure components since Kibana stores its internal configuration in Elasticsearch. The proposed architecture consists of setting up the services picked up after the analysis of the current open source market presented above. Firstly, the log files are created on the production machines of Alien API services. Then the ANTLR4 based log parser will process them every minute, the result of that being a set of JSON documents. These documents will then be sent to a Logstash instance that is configured specifically, specifically for Alien API services, meaning that the duration number will be converted into a standard millisecond format and the index of Elasticsearch will be dynamically created on the date of the document creation and the specific API service. On the other hand, Due to the fact that JLN is currently under development, the parsing part can be skipped. These logs have already been modified by, by the Alice software development team to be exposed in a JSON document format. These, these JSON log documents, internally called events, contain similar information to those found in the Alien API service log files, but they are better classified and explicit because it also contains things like error codes or error messages. These JSON events are directly sent to another Logstash instance, configured with a different index, such that these events are indexed and processed separately to the Alien API documents. The Logstash in in instances are then connected to an Elasticsearch cluster. Mainly, it is important to note that the Elasticsearch indexes are created based on the service and the day of the event creation. A Kibana instance is then connected to the same Elasticsearch cluster in order to be able to create dashboards based on the index data. These dashboards will then be exposed directly to the Alice software development team, where they will also be able to search for a specific request if needed. Also, Kibana stores its internal configuration in a separate Elasticsearch index. Finally, a curator instance is set up in order to do some index management operations, like deleting indexes that are older than 30 days. In order to test and validate the solution, an Alice owned custom instance was used. The instance has the following specific specifications. Two Intel Xeons E52660 V4 CPUs for a total of 28 cores and 56 threads, 256 gigs of RAM, and two terabytes of SSD-based storage. The Elasticsearch cluster, Kibana, and Logstash nodes were all deployed on this instance automatically using a Docker Compose configuration file. Also, the log files created over the period of 24 hours were used for this test for a total of 84 millions of log lines collected after 42 million requests. The test showed that if the parser is configured to use a single thread, a total of 1.1 million requests can be processed per minute. So far in 2020, the peak number of requests was almost 
430,000 requests per minute, which means that a single credit parser is 2.56 times faster. Also, the test, uh, the test contained multiple runs with multiple threads dedicated to the alien parser, from which two main ideas can be deduced. The more threads are allocated to the, parser, uh, to the parser, the faster the processing of log files for a single day will be, while doubling the number of threads will decrease the mean process time by 40%. Also, the operation of analyzing the logs for a single day would usually take something about 15 minutes for a parser with four threads or under 12 minutes for a parser with eight threads configured. Here we have a visualization example that can be used by both the ALI software development team and an automatic alerting and monitoring system. If in this graph is shown the duration of commands that are believed to be the slowest ones based on a percentile rank distribution. In the point selected in the image, 99.99% of the requests had an execution time of 10 seconds or less. Also, the vast majority, 95% of the requests, had an execution time of 0.04 seconds or less. There are also values presented for multiple percentile ranks between 95 and 99.99. .99. And the developer that is using this visualization can filter the requests, such that he would obtain the same information, but for a single type of request, for example, list or print working directory. In conclusion, this project consists of creating a request analysis tool that would process alien services API log files and JLN events, analyze them, index them, and put them in multiple visualizations that would offer valuable insights like average duration, percentile ranks, or the load of the processor based on the request type. Also, both services are currently using the presented solution set up on the custom Alice owned instance used for testing and processing production logs and events in a near real-time manner. Also, the Ali software development team started using the Kibana dashboard in order to analyze various requests and find further opportunities for development of JLIN. Some future work that can improve this project include adding additional visualizations in Kibana alongside exposing more information in the JLIN events. One example would be a heat map of user activity based on the IPs of the requests. The current monitoring infrastructure could be improved by periodically querying Elasticsearch and extracting indexed and analyzed information. And also migrating the current setup to a new Elasticsearch cluster deployed by CERN's IT department, where more nodes with more processing power would be available. Some performance testing could also be done on this new cluster. I would like to express sincere thanks to Mihai Karabash and to the entire Ali software development team, especially to Kostin Grigolaj, Volodymyr Yurchenko, Nikola Hardy, and Lachezar Betev for the provided insightful suggestions during the development of this project. I would also like to thank the Conde Grid project for the financial support for this conference. Thank you very much.